Welcome back, pilgrims. This is Ian, and I am back with the crafting MMO from Paradox Interactive, Salem. All right, so when last we met, I showed you about the various materials and how to study them and how to increase the availability of various skills to your character. In a specific case, we purchased, what do we purchase? Survival skills. Now, we could purchase foraging here as well as we have the requisite item, excuse me, the requisite skills necessary to purchase foraging, but I want to teach you something else. So we're not going to do that yet. I need to find another smooth stone in this video to fill up the meter just a little bit further and show you how to increase these skill values. So in the meantime, well, not the meantime, but in the time that we're going to take right now to do it, I'm going to show you how to make a tinder drill and then we're going to make a fire. So I've already gathered up some tinder wrong button there tab i've gathered up some autumn grass which counts as tinder there are several items which count as tinder and we're going to right click on a tree here we're going to pick branches so it's going to add a couple of branches to our interface in fact it's going to fill our interface with branches automatically and plus one and we are going to use said branches to construct our tinder drill so we can craft and that's going to deplete our phlegm our vigor uh, but it will yield to us our tinder drill, which allows us to set fires. We like to set fires. So the next step in this procedure is to build a pile of wood. Walk over here and set the pile of wood out. Now, that creates the building interface, which then lets you devote materials to a project. So I have to go ahead and move four of these branches in here. Now they are ready to be expended for the purpose of building. Hit the build button and my character goes to town. Wood pile built. And the final step in actually turning this into a fire is to take the tinder drill into our hands and right click on the fire. We're gonna get down here and get funky. Man, if only I could rotate the camera right now. Woo! All right, so he's blowing on the fire. He's getting it all ready to rock and roll. Look at the cool weird little grid pattern on the shadow here. Now, if you run out before if you run out of phlegm before you complete the action, I do believe is fail. You do not get your tinder box back. That's my recollection, at least. I can't be, I, I'm not 100% certain of that. Your mileage may vary, as they say. So this is something precious soot flake. I think that this must be a very uncommon item because I have not gotten it making previous fires, but I don't, so I don't know what the drop rate is, but it looks like it provides 2,000 in sparks and embers, 2,000 study in sparks and embers. Uh, actually, let's open the study interface up while we look at this. So you'll see that it's gonna completely fill up several bars. And actually, even though I wouldn't do this if this was a normal game because uh, it wouldn't be very efficient, Oh, I see. Actually, we've finished studying the smooth stone. I didn't realize there was still a little smooth stone studying to go there. But we finished studying the smooth stone. You see several of these bars have turned to green. That's just what we were waiting for here because now I can show you how to increase the skill value. So I'm going to look at things that uh, I don't have anything that is completely out of reach for my character right now. But I can tell you that once I study, I believe it's foraging, it's going to unlock at least three skills that my current skill value levels will be insufficient to reach uh, to purchase that skill with. So we're going to have to invest. All right. And the Frontier and Wilderness here, we click that. Again, it depletes all of the bars. All that investment is now depleted. But Frontier and, Frontier and Wilderness is now increased to six. And the bar can now hold 600 units of investment, which will be important for learning skills later. So that is how to increase a skill. If I were to study this one right now, uh, well, I'd need to get some Black Phlegm. For, excuse me, Black Bile. This game is very juicy in its naming conventions. Let's go ahead and eat a blackberry here. And actually, you'll see, you see how it ghosts over the humor interface there? It shows you what that's going to fill up to. And that is quite a nice rate of return from ye old blackberry. That's one of the better foods that I found at this stage of the game. Um, also, there are some lily pad bulbs that are really good to eat for increasing or for rather restoring Black Bile at the early stage of the game. So that is studying, that is increasing your skill values, and that is purchasing skills and some of the stuff that comes, becomes available to you. You've basically got almost all of the information you need to make a very fine start 
to your character in Salem. And by the time I had figured all of this stuff out, I was most definitely hooked on the game. And I am just biding my time. I'm just trying to crank this thing out so I can get back to my game. Can you just can you just give me that? No, in all seriousness, no. It's been fun to bring you this series. I'm going to tell you one more quick little tidbit. You'll have to figure most of it out yourself. But I'll get you the tantalizing beginning of this information. So when your humor's interface is completely full, all your categories are maxed out, five out of five, or whatever it may be, hint, hint. Um, was that a hint? I'm not really sure if that was a hint. Never mind. Disregard, or should you regard? Anyway, once this is completely full up, like at the beginning of the game, for instance, or you've eaten enough stuff to fill all those goodies back to max, then what you're going to want to do is click on it. And all that stuff is going to disappear, and it's just going to be a tiny little glob in the middle, and your cursor is going to turn into a fork. And you're going to click on... You can click that fork on the items in your inventory here, the food items in your inventory, and it's going to create a little shape here going in one direction or the other, depending on the attributes of the food. Now, it'll be up to you to figure out what combinations or how many of each foods you need to eat in order to yield an increase. Much like a skill value increase, you can yield a fundamental stat increase by using what this uh, mode is called gluttony mode, and uh, you can increase your your blood value to seven, for example, and then it will max out at seven. So that is the way in which you increase your fundamental stats. I'll leave it to you to experiment. And until next time, this has been Ian, and I have been showing you the basics of Salem, the crafting MMO from Paradox Interactive. It's been my great pleasure to bring this to you, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And I'll see you on the forums, by the way. So uh, if you are out there and you saw this video and you found it helpful, or if you'd like to give some feedback, please start a forum topic and let me know what would you like to have seen or what was working for you. All right, until next time. Cheers.